When you start carrying a gun, the most important question you have to answer, besides what gun to carry, is should I carry this gun with a round in the chamber or not? Now, I don't have any way to prove this, but I think 80% of people who carry a gun now started carrying without a round in the chamber. And 60% of the people who carry now still carry without a round in the chamber. Now, I was one of those people who didn't carry with a round in the chamber to begin with. Now, I do now, but I have friends who shoot better than me, shoot more than me, and still don't carry with a round in the chamber. So the question remains, what's the right answer? There isn't a right answer. There's only reality. And reality dictates that there are five reasons you should carry a gun with a round in the chamber and only one reason not to. So let's start with the five reasons why you should carry a gun with a round in the chamber. Well, first of all, it's just faster. When most people imagine having to use their gun, they imagine everything will be perfect. You'll see the danger coming along before it gets to you and you'll have all the time in the world to pull out your gun, rack the slide, line up your sights, take a sip of water out of your Pew Pew Life anti Stanley water bottle and take a selfie all before you have to actually shoot your gun. And you know what? This could actually happen. But what could also happen is that you're walking to your car and you're caught off guard by someone getting ready to pull a gun on you and you only have a split second to pull your gun to defend yourself. This is not debatable. Everyone can pull a gun and pull the trigger noticeably faster than pulling your gun, racking the slide, and then pulling the trigger. Don't believe me? I'll prove it. All right, so this demonstration is a 3-3-3 drill. It's based on a stat that most self-defense situations happen from three yards away with three round shot in three seconds. So I'm gonna start with an empty gun, meaning no round in the chamber. I'm gonna time how fast that is, and then I'm gonna do it again with a round in the chamber, and you'll see the difference in speed. Two point four three. All right, now there's a round in the chamber. One point eight six. When we're talking about fractions of a second can determine whether or not you live or you die, I'm gonna take those fractions of a second. That's a big difference. Just saying. Another reason why you should carry around in the chamber is because when everything is perfect and no one is trying to shoot you, racking the slide on your gun to put around in the chamber is pretty damn easy. However, when your heart starts racing and you're breathing fast and your hands are not only shaking, but they're sweaty because your adrenaline is dumping because someone is trying to kill you, pulling out your gun and racking that slide becomes a lot harder to do without causing a malfunction. Chances are you're gonna recreate your prom night and short stroke the slide causing either a malfunction or not chambering around at all. And you end up hearing the loudest noise you can ever hear in a gunfight. Click. If you have a small micro gun, you might just slip off the entire slide altogether. Oh shit, he shoots. Oh. Another reason why you should carry with a round in the chamber is because you may not have both hands at your disposal when you need to get to your gun and fire it. Unless you're going to John Wick rack your gun on a table using your sights, or you carry a gun with a light enough spring to air rack it, chambering around in your gun requires two hands. And if you don't have both hands at your disposal, you're making my way downtown, living fast. But you can draw a gun and fire all day long with one hand if there's a round already in the chamber. And another reason why you should carry with a round in the chamber is because no one who has ever been in a self-defense shooting has ever said, I wish I had less bullets in my gun. Someone who carries with a round in the chamber will always have more ammo in their gun than someone who doesn't carry with a round in the chamber. It's simple math. If I have a gun that carries 15 rounds in the magazine, I can chamber one round and then add another round to the magazine, giving me a total of 16 rounds. If I don't chamber a round, I can only put 15 rounds in the magazine. Thus, there will only be 15 rounds in the gun.
And the final reason why you should probably carry with the round in the chamber is because in the moment you actually have to use your gun, you might forget you don't have a round in the chamber. Look, I haven't ever had to pull my gun, but I've been in situations where someone starts shooting. And I can tell you that in that moment, your brain goes into primal mode and your brain is only thinking, don't die. Don't die! Oh shit, he's shooting. Oh shit, he's shooting. Your brain likely won't have the mental bandwidth to think complex thoughts like, oh, by the way, I know this person is trying to kill you, but be sure to remember that you don't have a round in a chamber, so make sure you pull the slide all the way back and chamber around before you pull the trigger. Now, there is one reason why you wouldn't want to carry a gun with a round in a chamber. The gun could just go off in your pants. Exploding in my pants. Now, nothing is impossible, but if you have a good holster, i.e. one that completely covers the trigger guard, you have a better chance of winning the lottery than for a gun to just go off on its own while it's in your pants. Remember, when I first started carrying a gun, I carried without a round in the chamber for quite a while. It wasn't until I told myself, you know what, after a month of carrying, at this point, if the trigger is never engaged, I'm just gonna start carrying with a round in the chamber. Now, I'm not saying that or doing this video so that you feel guilty or ashamed of not carrying with a round in the chamber, quite the contrary. All I want you to do is understand the limitations and the possible advantages of carrying with a round in the chamber so that if you do decide to make that decision, you're completely comfortable with it. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's all that matters. But at the end of the day, it is faster. Right now, shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. We just released our new Stanley style water tumblers or coffee tumblers or whatever you want to put in it because this keeps your cold drinks cold for 24 hours and your hot drinks hot for 12 hours. On top of that, you get your straw, but even better, you can make it leak proof. But the best thing about it is you can actually put any of the designs, the two-way designs that I have at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com on your tumbler. So now you have a better looking tumbler with better functionality and yeah. So head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com or hit the link in the description section and grab your Pro 2A tumbler today. Right now there's a culture war against the second amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia, the new Draco design, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt Click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video. Or if you're watching this on mobile, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.